there, I'm Kelly Norton and I'm your AZ Realty Lady. And I am doing a video today about things that you need to disclose as a seller. And this is very helpful for a buyer as well because you're gonna learn about the importance of some of the items that you really want to be uh, making sure you're paying attention to when you're buying your new home. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. For those of you who don't know me, I am Kelly Norton, the AZ Realty Lady, and I am a Valley native, and I've been a real estate agent here in the Valley for over 20 years. And I help people that relocate to the Phoenix area or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. And the best way to reach me is just to call me or text me. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. All right, so sellers. <laughs> Let's have a heart to heart here. Okay, so oftentimes I'll come across sellers and they'll say, hey, you know what, I, I fixed that. And I said, okay, but I don't see it in your disclosure. So just because you fix an item does not mean that you don't have to disclose it. You have to leave that opportunity for the buyer to do more investigating if they so choose to. So let's talk about a real example here. So um, you had a leak underneath your kitchen sink and you repaired that leak and you replaced the little wood piece that's underneath the kitchen sink and you didn't disclose that to the buyer. The buyer then moves in and a year later is having allergy issues and severe breathing problems. They find out that the side cabinet had mold growth in it because there was a water leak. The buyer had no idea there was a water leak because it was never disclosed to them. Now this isn't a situation that I have had with any of my clients, but these are real life situations. So you wanna make sure you disclose that because now this buyer has the issue. They didn't know that there was a water damage situation. Now they have mold and health issues and guess who they're gonna come after? They're gonna come after you, but they're probably gonna come after your agent as well. And I love my sellers, but I don't wanna be sitting next to you in court, okay? <laughs> so this is why I give, the, give you this type of a breakdown so that you can really have an understanding of why this is important. It's great that you fixed it, but you still have to give the buyer the knowledge because if the buyer wants to, they can do further investigating. They can go ahead and, and check to make sure that there isn't any mold in that location. And if you don't give them the opportunity, then you're at fault. So I'm not an attorney, but these are real life situations and it's also a lot of common sense there. If they didn't get the opportunity, you could have given them the opportunity. So they're probably gonna come after you for it. So, um, so that's one of the examples. So another one is in the state of Arizona, you do not have to disclose if someone has died in a property. So you don't have to disclose a death. And a lot of people say, oh my gosh, how is that so? Like they wanna know, they're afraid of ghosts or whatever they believe in. They want to know if someone died in the property. So this is how I guide my clients. So if you're a seller and someone has died in the property and you don't wanna disclose it, and someone asks us, hey, has someone passed away in the home? We can't lie to them or mislead them. So the only way to answer that would be that we choose to not disclose it. But with saying that, guess what we just told them? We told them that someone died in the home, basically, because otherwise you would have said no. <laughs> so if you're, if you're not gonna disclose it, and someone asks, then you're gonna you're gonna end up telling them by by the way that you have to answer, which is being truthful and just saying that you choose not to disclose that. And then they're gonna know that you did anyway. So my advice is just write on there, disclose it. If somebody asks, just say yes, somebody had. If they find out later, it, it it's okay if they didn't ask because we don't have to disclose it up front, but if it's something that's important to someone, they'll find out during their inspection period. They'll go knock on the doors. They're gonna they're gonna look things up. They will they will do everything they can if this is something that's important to them. So it's better for us to find out up front before you go under contract and take your home off the market. Because if we're on day seven or eight of our inspection period and then they cancel, 
Now your home's going back on the market. People are gonna ask why it fell out of escrow. And now that you come back on the market, people are gonna think, ooh, I can get a good deal on this home because it fell out of escrow once before. You don't wanna be in that situation. So again, some tips on disclosure. Um, I would definitely just disclose if, if somebody asks, just disclose outright that yes, someone did pass away in the, in the home. So hopefully you find that to be helpful and keep you out of a little bit of hot water with the whole mold situation too. Another issue that can get sellers in hot water and real estate agents is when there's not a disclosure of foul odors in the area. So in some of the outskirt locations, like some, some areas of, of uh, Buckeye, some areas of Avondale and Gilbert and Chandler and Queen Creek, you still have dairy farms, you still have agricultural odors. So it is important that you disclose this because this could be a material fact for that buyer. So on your disclosure, it will ask you and you will just put on there dairy odors or agricultural farms. Just put something on there so that the buyer can do their own due diligence. If you disclose it and the buyer fails to look into it, you're off the hook. If you don't disclose it, they find out later and it's a problem for them, then you're on the hook and again, I'm on the hook too. And again, like I always say, I like my sellers, but I don't wanna be in court with you. <laughs> so make sure you disclose things like that. And, and you have to sometimes just think back to when you first moved into your home because you'll get used to that smell and it won't be a problem. And you might not see it as a nuisance, but you have to kind of remember those things when you're disclosing and reading that document. And as you're filling out the seller disclosure in Arizona, just because the question isn't asked, doesn't mean you don't have to disclose it. So even if there's something that you might know that it doesn't ask in that document, you still do need to disclose any material facts that you know that, that could affect the buyer's decision. So I hope that this is helpful for you when you're filling out that disclosure. And if you're watching this and you're a future buyer, I hope that gives you a little bit of an understanding of what the seller's obligations are for disclosure. Again, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady, helping people relocate to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. So whether you're looking to move now or in the near future, please call me or text me. It's the best way to reach. Take care.